round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, and the black people sit in the back. Yo, what is going on to the best squad on YouTube? What's going on, True Squad? In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play your own music to your teammates and friends in games such as CSGO and Team Fortress 2. This is also known as being a douche to your teammates. So if you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure you slap a like on this video. If we can reach 10 likes, that would be amazing, phenomenal, and I will thank each and every one of you guys personally. So without further ado, let's get on with this tutorial. So all you have to do first is go to the site slam.flankers.net. I will be leaving a link in the description below for easy access for each and every one of you sexy people. So once you get to this site, you won't miss this download button guys. If you do, then I think you might need some glasses. But all you have to do is click this download button. It's going to say thank you for downloading Slam and you will be seeing the downloaded file right here. So once you open it up, make sure you have WinRAR installed on your computer. I forgot to say that earlier, but make sure you have WinRAR installed on your computer. I will be leaving a link to WinRAR in the description below as well. So after you open this up, under this folder you will be seeing two items. One is the slam.exe and one is the naudio.dll. So make sure you follow this step you know precisely. I don't want any of you guys to mess this up so all you have to do is highlight both of these items click extract to and then go to your where is it local disk C and then go to program files then click Steam and then go to your Steam apps just make sure you click Steam apps just highlight it and then click OK so once you do that you will see those extracted files in the Steam apps folder so let me close these things out. Let me show you guys where they are. Just to show you guys that I'm not lying. So let me just go to my disk right here. It is local disk C. And then go to program files 86. And then go to, where is it? Steam. Steam apps. And there you go, guys. So as you guys can see, here are the two items that we did extract from WinRAR. One is Slam, the actual application, and nAudio.dll, which is the application extension so after you check that you know it's already in the steam apps folder you are about like 85 percent done with this tutorial so all you have to do is double click this make sure you run it and let me just delete these songs just to you know show you guys that i am not lying about this so over here it says game make sure you choose any game that you want to play for this tutorial i'm going to be using counter-strike global offensive so I'm just going to click it there and then click import. So all you have to do is choose any song that you want. It doesn't matter. So here's a few of them that I'm just going to highlight. So once you choose the songs that you want, just highlight them and click open. And as you guys are going to see, all of these songs are going to load into this application. So it's almost done. It's going to show you down there with the green bar. Right now it says conversion complete. So so, which means everything is loaded in, you should be fine. So, over here, it says play key X, don't worry about that. Over here, as you guys can see, it says play key X. So, basically, what this means is, whenever you're in a lobby in CSGO or any game that you're playing, all you have to do to play these songs is click the X button. It's really simple, guys. You're not going to have trouble with this. If you do, then I don't know how to help you guys. So, all you have to do then... Is click start make sure you press start if you don't press start this is not gonna work so all you have to do then is click counter-strike global offensive and I will see you guys when the game loads so we are in the home screen of CSGO and before you do anything before you get any lobby or anything make sure you follow these simple steps go to options go to game settings and over here where it says enable developer console Remember this item, guys. It's right next to the number one on your keyboard. So make sure it's toggled to yes. Yours should be, you know, if you haven't done this before, it will be on no. Make sure you change it to yes. And then go back home. So as I said, it is this button is next to the number one on your keyboard. So once you click it, it's going to look like this. Yours might be empty or whatever. It doesn't matter. As long as 
a new page comes up like this with, you know, many words and letters, all you have to do, all you have to do is type in execute, just like that, exec, and then slam. You should see it right here. All you have to do is click. So after you type that in, it's going to say things such as, you know, Elias name is too long. Don't worry about that. All you have to do after that is click LA and you will see all these songs that you loaded in. So once you do that, let's say you want to play um, No Sleep, right? It's the first song that I have right there. Click one and then enter. So it says loaded, no sleep, trap, hip hop, beat, instrumental, free 2015. So right now you can close it by clicking the button again next to the one. And I'm going to be showing you guys how this works. Click, 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 click